man. Wow. Look at this. This map's amazing. I am so immersed right now. I just... What the... What? What the f heck is that? Nah. This map is trash. What's up, Master Builders? It's Amade, and today I want to talk to you about cleaning up your maps. Sometimes it's the finer details that really hurt us the most. We spend so much time working on our maps, we forget about cleaning up the bots. Until Epic offers us the option to make the plates invisible for the bots, here's a few workarounds to keep your bots looking extra crispy clean. Not only will this increase the bot's aesthetic value, but it'll also increase its functionality and prevent someone coming along and just pickaxing or shooting out the platform that the bot is standing on and eliminating it. Boom. It's over 9,000! Now the bots have a few basic properties. There are several tricks you can use to make the bot be separated from its platform. Take a trick tile and place it underneath the bot. Make sure the trick tile is enabled at game start. Select yes. Activation delay, set it to none. And below that, activated at game start, you want to select yes. Below that is trigger on player contact. Set that to no. This will separate the bot from its platform, as well as making the platform immaterial. It's still visible, but it can't be interacted with. Which is why you'll see me fall through it, and the pickaxe will also go through it. Now the bot can be moved around using speed boosters or bounce pads, any kind of combination. There's several tips that you can use, but right now we're just talking about boxing our bots. As you see the bot drop down and the pad cannot be interacted with now. Whether you want your bot to drop down, as I have in some instances on my map, or to be pushed on top of the pad, determines your next step. Pull out your cell phone and make sure that building as prop is set to either origin center or origin edge. And I like to have whole position as centered when I'm doing this. You can leave it as grid snap in order to help you place the piece that you want to place on top of the sentry panel. This might take a few tries. And that will force the bot on top of that. Now if you didn't put the trick tile on before, what would happen is the bot would still get separated from the plate, but the plate would be able to be interacted with. And so somebody could just shoot out the plate that the bot is on, block that I put on top of that, force the bot up on top of it. And so that gives it a nice clean look. And then I put some borders around that, and that's what I call boxing your bots. Next time we'll talk more about bots and how we can use speed boosters, bounce pads, and barriers to spice up your bot life. Be sure to drop me a like, subscribe for more videos, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new content. A man's gotta eat. I would like to volunteer to take this old bird out of her misery. Cletus! Don't you dare say something like that about mom. Oh, no, you ain't gotta protect me from Cletus. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Come on over here. Come on in here. Let's show walk. Come on over. Then, then uh, you're going to limp back. You walk over, but you're limping back. <laughs>